Alright guys, what's up? It's Mike. I uh, want to welcome you back to uh, Never Alone. We're going to go ahead and um, watch another documentary video here. The Month of the Night. In Let's the month of headset. November, there's no sun. So during that dark time, we travel by the light of the moon. It's quite different. Everything was silver and black. Toward the horizon, we could see where caribou are because their body heat flowing upward and we could see it glowing in the moonlight against a dark horizon where there's no stars. If somebody yelled, you couldn't know who yelled from where the sound came from, but specifically for that cloud of their breath went up and it, it glowed in the moonlight. So that was a good time to travel. It was very surrealistic. And so things that were dark objects look very close and white objects look very far. Huh. <clears throat> I didn't know that. The month of November, he said, right? <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let's watch this one. Animal spirits. We are taught that there's no hierarchy. It's not everything else, and then man, you know, <laughs> humans on top, and they're separate from everything. We're taught that everything is, is equal and that all the animals have a human form or can be seen in a human form. And so they have just as much or more intelligence. You know, in fact, have a lot to teach people. And so that's how these transformations can happen. It's if the animal wants you to see it in its human form. There's a story where a man comes up to an ice hole and then there realizes there's there's another man in his parker that's that's got stuck in the net, you know? And he's just stuck like that. Oh, can you can you let me out? Please help me, you know? And so then he lets the man out, but then realizes that was actually a, a seal. That was a seal man. And just because that seal wanted that help. That seal allowed itself to be seen in human form. Okay. <clears throat> the recurring type of character in Anupiak stories is the manslayer. And the manslayer is kind of this bad guy and I think really what's at risk when the manslayer comes into story is the livelihood of individuals and the whole community and so the manslayer is really used as a way to say don't act only for yourself always hold the community in your heart often time in these stories there is one person that will stand up and and what this humble person will represent who faces that manslayer is a return to order a return to true living in the community and it just takes that one person it could just be that one person that can help to change everything because everyone wants to live a good life everyone wants to have a good community All right, so it looks like um, <clears throat> I'm missing I'm missing a couple here, but uh, let's let's get into the story here. So we uh, we figured out what was the cause of uh, the blizzard, and um, we're gonna continue from there, hopefully. Skip this? <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Skip, 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 skip. 
All right, so if y'all want to see that, just go to the, the previous video and you'll see it there. Guys, I'm gonna move uh, my microphone here a little bit so you can get just a little bit closer to me. Hold on. All right, I think that's good enough. I'm <clears throat> uh, fixing my microphone here, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, right there? I think that's good. Alright. What am I supposed to do here? I can't jump. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna jump to. Hold on, let me let me be this guy real quick. Nothing I can jump to. Alright, well, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go this way then. There's nothing here. <clears throat> Yo, why is she scared? Seems a little. Oh, she made. Oh, wow, she actually made that. Hold on. Come down here for a second. What is this? Can I climb that? Oh, look, I can climb it. All right. Liking those spikes. Oh, there's. Okay, I see it. No, 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 I see it.
Alright, I have an idea. I have to break the ice. Yo, that. All right, come on. Up, 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 right there. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> so. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Grab onto it. Grab onto it. Grab onto it. What? No, it's just. Alright, uh, so text it again. I put this on vibrate, so that's fine. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Alright, bring it just a little this way. Alright, go down, go down. Oh, not all the way down. Oh no, you're taking it that way, this way, this way. Okay, there we go. Right there. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Not too far, not too far. Just hold on. Alright, here's where you get the jump. Doesn't uh, she doesn't auto grab onto it? You gotta you gotta like angle. I mean you gotta bring the little thing up a little. The whatever that spirit thing is, you gotta bring it up just a little bit.
I'm gonna climb onto that. All right, here we go. I can't even see what I'm. I can't even see what I'm aiming for here. got smushed. I'm sorry. Oh. Wait. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, how did he not get smashed by that? Go, 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 go. Rolling. Rolling. Go up, up. Ooh, not, no, 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 no. No bueno. Dude, are you serious? Just roll with it. Just roll with it like that. Just like that. Careful now. Careful. Watch for those spikes. Is there stuff? Oh, there's something over there. Bring it this way. Who's that? Oh, I'm supposed to jump onto that? Get me up, up, up. Mayok to a canal na kami kanga nun hinyuk pa siyo. Nibayak siya ka luwalog siyo mixok. What, she's gonna get in his path? What is that? How are you going to steal that? That thing's huge. Oh crap, he sees me. Yo, I feel like I'm playing Shadow of the Colossus right now. Alright, where are we going next? Oh. Oh crap, he's gonna get up, get up. Grab it, grab it. Take me up, take me up. Oh crap, I, I didn't. Okay, my bad. I thought I can jump onto the. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. She looks like she's looking up. Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, okay, that's it. She's She's gone. There's no way she's coming back from that.
Oh, let's watch this real quick. With regard to the environment, the blizzards have been one of the key elements that have impacted the survival of people, in, especially in the hard uh, winter. We know a blizzard is coming when the moon is starting to get fuzzy. We also look at the stars. When the stars are twinkling fast, we know a storm is approaching. We look to the clouds in the sky to give us a direction the storm is coming from. We learn these uh, as children by observing weather on a daily basis. All right, that wasn't uh, that wasn't too long. So now this is me. Am I running? Yep, I'm running. She's in. She's in that hardcore road. Run. Road. All right, go, 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 go. I don't know. I can't. Oh shit. Hold up. Hold up. Let's go. I fell at life, I know. Ooh, that storm was getting strong.
jump onto that? And that was a horrible mess. again I knew I jumped that. the way back I can't, can't even live 
cave. when I switch to the other guy. Switch. Don't jump, Nuna. Don't jump. Jump. Roll with it. Roll with it. Jump. Oh, no. Oh, she, damn it. All right, come on. Come on, man, come on, come on. Those fish look like they're going down. Jump, Nuna. Nuna, why did you jump? <laughs> oh my god. I tell. Okay. I don't know why she jumps, but she jumps. Why she kept jumping when I switched to the fox guy. Nebe <laughs> Kunuksa <laughs> With the story of Kunuk Sayuka, told by Robert Cleveland, it's just a, it's just a masterwork. It's a well-known story among the Inupiaq people, and. In our case, of producing a video game that really reflects indigenous heritage, it's, it captures the imagination, and it's something that you have a very specific kind of task to do. There's a blizzard, you know, and it is just a non-stop blizzard that is overpowering the people, and there's one man that wants to figure it out. And in our case of the story, it's a girl. 
that wants to find the source of that blizzard. The blizzard man, it's like that is the physical embodiment of an element of nature. And so there's a person that needs to go up and take away that, that adds, that's chipping away that, that snow. In that community, the person least expected is the one who stands up and makes the difference. Humility is something that we value. And where that comes from is the idea that you are not the biggest thing in the world. And when you live in an extreme environment like where the Inuit reside, you're at the whim of the environment, of the climate, of the animals. You can be as prepared as you can, you know, by learning from your elders that, you know, you're not the biggest force in the world. All right. Derigadnam nukat pem okad lautiga ne vea xera rola. Ilanin inyone galo ovit. Aul lang galo ovit. Ai sule ovit it kaxaragima. I see the right I think this game, I mean, it, it's definitely, it's, it's definitely, um, a puzzle game and something, but in reality, it, it taught me a lot, um, about, you know, these people and, you know, the environment and what they go through and all that stuff. So I think this game was more like, um, it was more like a book just teaching you something. But uh, that was it, this wasn't it wasn't it was a free game. I forgot what month it came out in. But uh, that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was only four parts, <laughs> and um, I will uh, see you for whatever video you decide to watch next on my channel. But uh, whatever it is, I will see you there. And uh, as always, guys, take care. All right, latest.